Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with another video. So a uh, supporter requested for me to do uh, my opinion on a video from YouTube explaining that Selena was allegedly born a male and um, that her voice is of a castrato. So a castrato is a type of musical male singing voice equivalent to that of a soprano, mazzo, soprano, or, or constrato. The voice is produced by a castration of the singer before puberty, or it occurs in one who, due to an um, endocrine chronological condition, never reaches um as you know maturity because you know how youtube is so i'm not going to say the word but it rhymes with text textual maturity okay so i it was a five minute video it was dumb i'm sorry and it was irrelevant and it's not true why for, for one in the video they try to scan her body frame and said that it was a shape of a male um body frame and that she had hip implants impl um implants um and they show like a snippet of how implants are inserted into a male body when he wants to transition or trans you know from one gender to another i thought it was bogus um if you look in her earlier years she had the same body frame. She's always been hippie. She's always been um, plump from the waist down. She has a pear-shaped body. If anybody that knows a lot about the difference between apple shape and pear shape, apple shape women are women whose body um, who gains a lot of weight or are more fuller from the waist up, meaning they're, um, if they were to gain weight, they will gain weight mainly in their chest area, midsection, um, face, um, anywhere above the waist. Whereas though below the waist will stay the same or it won't gain as much weight. So you got your like Sherry Shepherds. If you know who she is, she is, um the new hope she has a new show i think she was she was taking um she was substituting for uh what's her name that has that talk show um uh, wendy williams um she's she's a she's an apple shape i was i will um put up a a picture of her she also was in the show um what's his name gabrielle gabrielle and Glacius, I think that's his last name. And they had he had a show um, on Netflix. She was the principal. She played the principal on his show. Um, so she's a, a pap, apple shaped body. Another um, an example of a pear shaped body. A pear shaped body is any woman who gains a lot of weight, or men, because some men are hippie too, that are naturally hippie, that gains weight in the lower half of their body so from the waist down so for example selena and i also have a, a fr i know a few people that are pear shaped where the, whereas though they gain a lot of their weight in their their um hips and their bottom their buttocks their thighs and things like that they may occasionally gain a little weight in their face but that's it um, it, but they do gain weight on, on the top area, just very little. It's mainly concentrated on the waist down, like their metabolism slows down from the waist down. And that's what Selena is. Selena is a pear-shaped body. If she gains weight, she gains it in the lower parts of her body, not the upper parts. Very, she does gain a little weight in her face. Like, for example, uh, when she was sick. Um, she was very sick. I don't know if she had the flu 
or bronch I know she had bronchitis and she was very sick and she had lost a lot of weight and she performed it was in 1994 where she performed I'm not gonna have a bunch of snippets I might have a um, picture of it where she wore that black leather jacket with the bustier and the black leather pants and the um, the cowboy boots and she had on some guitar earrings she was really that was like her smallest she's ever been and that's because she was really sick so she couldn't keep a lot of stuff down she was only basically getting her nutrients from liquids she was very slim slim but then she got better and she had gained the weight back she had gained all her weight back and she gained it mainly in her lower half and a little bit in her face but she don't gain as much weight in her midsection or her um, arms or things like that. It's mainly her lower half. She's always been that way. And I know it's said that it hits before puberty. She has been hippie since she was a teenager. Now, when she was before, when her mother was pregnant, her mother and her father were told that she was going to have a boy um, because they saw something in the... Um, they saw something, um, either in the sonogram. I don't know if they really had sonograms in the 70s, but they saw something in her chart that indicated that she was going to have a boy, but she ended up having a girl. There was no castration there at birth or nothing like that. She was a girl. There has been plenty of pregnancies where people thought that they were going to be one, one gender, and then they ended up being born and they were the other gender so it has it's happened it's not it's not um a consistent thing it's not rare it's not rare either but it has happened um for them to say she looked masculine where they try to put they try to make her look like she's masculine in the video that i saw but there are plenty of women that you think look mask that looks masculine but are full woman for example i'm not i'm no shade but MJ Sondras, the one that allegedly Chris Perez was um, fooling around with and who has helped her with her career, she looks masculine. She looks very masculine. She still looks, she looks nice. I mean, she's not an ugly woman, but she looks masculine. She has very strong features in her face. Like bone structure is like very strong, but she's a whole woman. The same, that's why I say she kind of reminds me of Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is another one. She looks very masculine. She has very distinct and strong bone structure in her face that makes her look masculine, but she is very much woman. I mean, come on now. Selena looks nowhere near masculine. She doesn't have really distinct um, facial structures. She doesn't have that. She has a little bit of a slight high cheekbone because of her ancestry, because her mom is um, half um, Native American. But other than that, she doesn't have any strong, distinct masculine um, features. And if you want to be really literal and really technical, we all came from man. If you want to be biblical and everything, we all came from man. We have, we, we took, we, um, in the beginning, we have a rib from a man to make a woman. So we are, we come from a man. A man. And then we have, I mean, and then a lot of, you know, some people really resemble their fathers. Some women really resemble their fathers, but they're all women. So it's just like, it just sounds ridiculous. And I don't know why people want to just tarnish somebody like that, especially people that aren't here to defend themselves. Are you kidding me? For the longest, people used to say Michael Jackson was a woman because he looked feminine. I mean, and he's all man. It's just ridiculous how people make up these scenarios just to gain some type of clout. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, that's something serious. You don't sit up there and, tell, and exploit somebody about their um, gender and what they was when they were born. The only ones that know who who she was is her parents that brought her in this world. And and God, if you are religious or whoever you follow. But how dare you? She's not even here to defend herself. And then they talk about her voice 
you know, she has that has um, castrato. I have male lungs with female voices. Okay, then if you want to say that, then is um, Whitney Houston a man? Is Mar Mar Mariah Carey a man? Because Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston in their heydays can hold a note for a very long time. Very long time. And her mother, um, Mariah Carey's mother, was an opera singer. So what are you implying? Are they men? Were they castrados? Were they castrated? Like, come on now. Be realistic. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. There was one time when Sierra first came out, people used to say she was a, 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 a hermaphrodite, which is a man and a woman together. They made silly comments about that because she was because of her height. And now that she's older, because she when she was younger, when she came out, when she first came out as a teen, she had soft features. Now that she's older, she's all she's she's a year older than me, and. She has strong, her face, her face structure is more dis, distinct, more strong and makes her look masculine, but she's still very much a woman. Like people change, their appearances change as they get older. And, and, and like, I don't get it. Like it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Her body frame is, yes, is a gorgeous body frame. She does have a, a slight Coca-Cola-shaped body. But like I said in the beginning, she has a pear-shaped body. She's very much small at the top and very voluptuous at the bottom half of her body. Now, she may have had some work done, you know, as an adult, maybe, you know, when she noticed that she, cause she has to wear, she wears a lot of tight fitted clothing as her costumes. And maybe there was, has been a time where she was gaining a lot of weight in her med section. So maybe she did do a BBL and got all oh, some liposuction, got some fat transfers to once one part of the body from the other. Who knows? It's, and if she did, she's, she was grown. It's her prerogative. She's still all natural, period. I don't understand why people can't get it, can't understand it. She has no reason why. I mean, yeah, back then was a different time where, you know, announcing your textuality was a bit, a bit harsher than it is today. But she is a fearless person individual she shared that she exploit that when she was alive so i don't think she would have had a problem if she were one way and not the other or whatever but i don't believe that she was so therefore case closed she's not a man she she wasn't born one she's all woman she's all natural get over it get over it Stop the lies, stop the rumors, stop the ridiculousness. You weren't there when A B when um when Marcella and Dictator was in the bedroom or wherever they were conceiving Selena. You weren't there. You didn't watch. You weren't there throughout her pregnancy. You weren't there at her doctor's appointments. You weren't there sitting next to her when she was giving birth. You weren't there when the doctors was telling her that um the updates of her pregnancy, you weren't there. So you can, you have no right to really exploit what she, how she, how or what, or how, where she was born. Like you can't, you have no right. And then you going to do it where she, she's not here to defend herself. How dare you? If, it, if she was, that's her prerogative. If she wasn't, cool too. So what? The woman had, uh, um, had, I forgot the technical name for it, but she had something injected in her arm, and before, um, so she won't. She she had birth control, and but she had like a little stick injected in her arm, so she couldn't get pregnant because she was, you know, she was tech 
sexually active with her husband. But then when they were, they were according to her father, when they were about to, when they were ta- having the talks of having a, a family, she was, she had got, um, got it taken out because she and her husband were planning on expanding her family. If she was a man, she wouldn't be, that wouldn't even be an option. Ridiculous. Then I'm hearing that they trying to say Chris Perez was allegedly born a woman. How is how? How? And because he had long hair. There are, and there are men out here that look feminine, but actually are men. But that is just jumping to a whole nother like lane here. Like it's just ridiculous. Whoever is making, trying to make fame off of dumbness. It's just dumb themselves. Maybe they're trying to um, figure out their own identity. And they don't know how to do it. So they want to depict it on others. They can't defend themselves. Get a freaking life. Until you can, until you, until the person or individuals can can um have physical proof that they were in that delivery room when Selena was born, then you shouldn't say sh- shit out your mouth. Until you can give out, bring out a home video of you in the delivery room with Dictator and Marcella giving birth to Selena, you can't say nothing. You have no, you have all that crap you're saying is BS. Unless you have documents, medical documents proven that Selena was born a one way and not the other. Unless you have a birth certificate that shows, not a fake one, but an authentic one, that shows that she was born one way and not the other, then we got something to talk about. But until then, keep that crap to yourself and figure out a way to come out with your own identity. And stop depicting on, um, on innocent bystanders. On innocent people. Now, that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Now, what I will say, and I've said this before. I, 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 I'm very much appreciative of my supporters that's been sticking with me, even though I haven't been making consistent videos and on a consistent basis, like I did during the pandemic. It's because I have, a, I have other things going on. Nothing, you know, bad or anything, but people got to understand. I am a child of God. One first, I am a person second. I am a woman, third. I am a mother, fourth. I am a teacher, fifth. I am a a college grad. I am a college, a grad student. So when I, when I'm on, when it's the weekend, sometimes I don't want to do nothing. And it's no offense to you all. It's not that it's just me being honest, but I do make videos when I feel like it. I do make videos if the person really needs me or wants me to make it, I'll do it. But don't expect me to be consistent all the time because I have other responsibilities. I I don't mind it at times, but then sometimes I do mind it because sometimes I need my weekends and I want my weekends to be for me. I have to have room for me. And then recently, you know, my car got vandalized two, tw- three times and got stolen within the last past three months. And now I'm financially like exhausted by paying deductibles here, deductibles there, my insurance going, you know, giving me to run around. You know, and, and you know, there are some that were helping me with my um, car situation through my insurance. And I thank that person 
for, you know, being patient with me and actually working through with me. But there were others that were really giving me a hard time. But, and I think it's due to this TikTok fad that these people are still in Kias and Hondas and stuff like that. It's really taking a toll on everyone that are owners of those vehicles, including myself. Nobody got money like that to keep throwing out to get my get their car repaired just for it to get vandalized or stolen again. It's a stressor because I had to miss work due to due to this. It was it's a stressor because I have to pull out money when I'm trying to pay off something, but I gotta use it to pay that off. Like it's just a lot, but God is pulling me through. It's pulling me through. Thank goodness they found my car. But I'm at a point where I don't even want it no more because I'm paranoid that it's going to happen again. Like, this new generation is 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 horrible. They do things for likes and do things just because they think it's cool, but they don't realize the, the financial and mental effect that they have on, on others when they do these stupid things. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Social media has become a very much evil vessel for this upcoming generation. Now, um, social media has been out since the early 2000s. You know, with Facebook and MySpace. That's from my era. Black Planet. But we never did none of this stuff that, that, that this generation is doing. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's crazy. But all I got to say, the owners of Hondas and Kias, y'all need to make sure y'all are very secure with y'all cars, have great insurance, get a, um, a wheel lock so they won't, you know, it, you, it's, it, it's, it's real out here. And it's um it's ridiculous that you can't even be comfortable driving your vehicle or parking your vehicle because you fear that somebody's going to steal it or or vandalize it. But to go, I went on topic. But just long story short, so my supporters, you can still DM me. Um, any topics, Selena topics you want me to um, talk about, but please make it at, at a bare minimum because it becomes overwhelming when you get, when I get three, pa three um, long messages about certain things back to back to back to back. And it, it, it takes, a, it takes away of me wanting to read it because it's so long and it's like consistent. When you have to give me a chance to process it. But I'm grateful for the continuous support and um, the ones that have been sticking by me, even though I haven't been consistent. And the ones that have been giving me ideas because I have ran out. And, and the ones that's been patient, thank you. Don't give up on me. But I will be back with another video sooner or later. It's a definite. I also have thought about doing mukbangs. I have. I want to because I love food and I really feel like it will grow, make my channel grow. And I want to get paid, you know, and I'm to the point where I don't have to go in the office and work that I can work from home. That's what I really want. I don't, my job, you know, at first it was fulfilling, but now it's become a, a huge stressor. And I want to do something that's going to be financially rewarding and it's going to make me happy. And I want to work from home and it's something that I've been thinking about, but I'm afraid to do because, you know, it doesn't happen right away. And I know that the financial obligations that I have you know, with my car, with, you know, keeping a roof over my head, taking care of my son and, and all of that and school and things like that. So it's scary to, you know, 
want to just leave my job and try something else. I'd rather, you know, I want to do it professionally and carefully where I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not in a position where I don't have any financial resources. So, you know, I'm, I'm working through that, looking through, looking at that, thinking about that. But I'll let y'all know, and I'll be back with another video. Peace.